Hey, this is Sarah Del Rey, the queen of wrestling, and you're listening to InYourHeadOnline.com. All right, we're back. Welcome to In Your Head Wrestling Radio. I'm the internet icon, handsome Jackie Jones, flying solo tonight. But I do have a special guest with me. Just a, a legend in the world of professional wrestling. She's had uh, many titles. She's in the tag team singles, wrestled at the very first WrestleMania, and again at WrestleMania 10. And she is still in the business currently, and we'll talk all about that. I'm joined by Lee Lonnie Kai. How are you doing tonight? Oh, I'm doing great, thanks. <laughs> good, good. And, uh, you know, I mentioned you're still in the business. V- very active. You had a very active year. Um, I had a very active year last year. I'm hoping to be even better this year. i got a lot of projects coming up, and um, I'm just real excited about it. Um, last year was my most exciting year in a long time. And I um, want to do a lot of... Um, uh, looking around different uh, schools, and um, I go to different events, just mainly, I guess, just to look at the girls, and um, I'm really interested in women wrestling, mm-hmm. and uh, maybe somehow I can uh, start teaching. And I've been to some seminars and um, around the United States, and um, I've worked um, probably eight or nine times last year, and hopefully this year will be a lot more. I got some things coming up, but it's not for sure yet, so we'll see. <laughs> who who are some of the people that uh, you got to wrestle this year that you had never wrestled before? You know, some of the uh, the younger women that really stood out to you. Um, I I did a lot for um, Lexi with Brown with uh, she ran like in South Florida, and uh, I have wrestled against um, Sarah DeRay. I love her. Mm-hmm. Rain, Awesome Kong. And they're all great athletes, and they all have their own style, so I like to learn as much as I can from them. There's Angelina Love, Santana Garrett, Amber O'Neill, and Amber O'Neill's one of the lady wrestlers I, I did help train. And um, I was just doing some seminars. I did some seminars. I did a seminar in Rome, Georgia, and Charlotte, along with uh, Tolly and uh, Jerry Briscoe. And um, I've, I've, I've had a real exciting year, and I'm hoping this show this bring along the same thing. You know, I'm just so excited about it. I'm training as hard as I can and uh, just uh, staying on the Internet as much as I can, you know, um, keeping up with the women the wrestling and, and base them on my Facebook and talk about them and try to push them the best I can. And I'm really wanting to do some uh, uh, training if I can soon. Yeah. Hope it comes up. <laughs> No, uh, we've had both Awesome Kong and Sarah Del Rey on the show before, and uh, Sarah Del Rey actually, uh, the record, she's been on the show the the most for uh, for a female wrestler, and uh, she's currently uh, training for WWE. She's one of, in the developmental company. Did she uh, really stand out to you? Yes, she did. Um, mainly because everyone kept telling me at first, you know, you need to see her. She looks so much like you. <laughs> <laughs> In my young days, you know, and I was, I had to see her, and I started watching her, and uh, I got to have a match with her, and like, oh my god, I, could, I was so excited, mm-hmm. you know, I was like, wow, you know, I saw her. <laughs> she's uh, a great athlete. I really, really enjoy having a match with her. She's, she's, she's good. Yeah. And I wish her a lot of luck in her training. I know she's going to do good because she's young, you know, and I'm sure she'll pave her way for some of the ladies that's getting into the wrestling today, and. She'll help him belong, so I'm 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 happy for her. I'm glad. Yeah, as, I want that for her. She she deserves it, and that's what she her calling is, I believe. Mm-hmm. You know, but uh, I really want to see her wrestle some more too. You know, I hope in the near future. Yeah. Do, do you see uh, wrestling right now? Uh, women's wrestling right now, um, compared to when you broke in. You know, there's there was a lot of people back then too. But do you? What are the differences? Uh, there's uh, more TV exposure. Um, there's not as much um, women in the ring as I used to. Uh, back in, like in the 70s and 80s, we had to, you know, travel so hard, and it's like territorial back then. And now it's just, um, it's, it's not much going on, you know, uh, for for women or men to have unless they're in one little spot. But uh, it's just, uh, TV is just taking over and, and um, uh, the wrestling is a little bit different, and I had to really travel hard, and 
I worked with the same, you know, uh, girls all the time because I came from Lewis and we were like a family there. So we traveled like from one territory to another territory. And now you just like fly and work for one company and you just fly each place. And it's a little bit different how it's done today. And, and uh, the training is not like with uh, different girls. It's with maybe a, a school with a, uh, one of the guys maybe to train the girls or it's all a little bit different. Before we moved in Lewis, we um, traveled with each other and um, went different places, and we worked with each other a lot. So it's a little bit different. Mm-hmm. But um, I, I watch it a lot, and I, I see I see a lot of uh, women that are just, like, doing their best, and it's not quite the same what I did, but you know, it comes along, and it's exciting, and there's some beautiful ladies out there. Mm-hmm. I just want to ask you about, uh, you know, you talked about Moolah, and uh, obviously uh, one of the most uh, famous matches of all time, WrestleMania, the first one. What was, like, just the build-up for that match like for you? You, you know, it's, it's stuff's on MTV. It's like a, things are starting to blow up. C- could you see, you know, how, how big this was going to be? I didn't really realize it at first. Um, I I did a match with Wendy, and I, I, I uh, retained the belt, so... Um, afterwards, I'd actually gone to Japan, and I didn't get back till probably two days before the actual event of WrestleMania. And I didn't realize how big it was until I, I got there. I, uh, once I was in the arena, there was so much excitement going on, and people running around everywhere and seeing celebrities and all. I didn't realize how big it was. Not at that moment, I didn't. Mm-hmm. But, um... Afterwards, it was, I realized it afterwards, and they had a big, huge party, and everybody was there and having a good time and dancing. And <laughs> it was a little bit different, but I didn't realize really how big it was until I was there. Yeah. Uh, I didn't hear much talk about it. I was overseas. I stayed overseas, you know. I'd done the belt with Wendy, and and I worked with her uh, a bit, and then went overseas, so... I didn't really realize how big it was going to be, but it was the most exciting night of my whole life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I loved it. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun when I did WrestleMania 10, so... Yeah. I was uh, uh, very lucky. <laughs> I was very lucky I was chosen. <laughs> mm-hmm. now, how did the WrestleMania 10 come about? Like, uh, you know, how were you uh, picked to be uh, Lunder Blaze's opponent? How was I picked for her opponent? Yeah, yeah. You know, because you, you weren't there for the while, and uh, they brought you back for WrestleMania 10. Yes, I, I kind of uh, uh, stopped uh, work, traveling on the road, and they had called me and asked me if I would do it. Um, I believe it has a lot to do with uh, I know how to uh, work with girls. I know production. I know how to present myself in the ring, and I know television. So um, I think they really wanted to get uh, Alondra over as strong as they could, and I'd already had some matches with her, and I enjoyed working with her, so... I just, uh, I think they just thought that was a perfect match for her. It was a lot of fun. It was not real easy, but it was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. And I didn't have no problem. It, it, I don't know why they picked me, but I guess, I just suppose because I've had matches with her before and I was experienced, you know, with uh, TV production. So mm-hmm. I think that's what it was. You talked a little bit about uh, going overseas. Uh, what's, uh, what's the difference between wrestling in Japan and wrestling in the States? Um, Japan is, uh, uh, they travel a lot, uh, they stay on a bus, um, you take and you work along with them. If you want to, they, they take their own ring and put it up and they take their own ring down. Uh, they're like a big family. They work almost every single night. Um, their TV is very serious. They're very serious over there. And I get a lot of training over there, a lot. I, I stayed over there for weeks. I think my travels was between like 48 or 49 times, and uh, I'd go back and forth like every other month and bring someone else new with me and a new um, a new girl with me over there. And I, I really loved it there. I I, I was to myself when I first went over there, so I'm gonna make them like me. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna work so hard to where they want me to come back. So it was just um, my calling. I I loved it there, and I learned their style, and I got along with everybody. I started learning the language a little bit, and uh, <laughs> but I, I really loved it, and I traveled all over Japan. Sometimes we'd fly, like, to Hawaii, or um, I think we went to Guam 
a couple of times. Um, we went to Korea one time, and I would stay like two months at a time every time we went over there. And uh, they really wanted women's wrestling from over there to come over here, and that's when uh, we brought the Bomb Angels over, hoping that we can mix it to where women can go to Japan and and, and they'd come over here and kind of mix it up a little bit. So mm-hmm. we brought the Bomb Angels over, and, and that was another story. <laughs> it, honestly, I think those matches still hold up as some of the best uh, women's matches ever, uh, especially in WWF or anywhere. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, they were easy to work with. We worked hard. We worked a different kind of a uh, style, and uh, I think it was a little bit of a fast pace, but uh, but that's the way we did it over there. And and time changes. You have to change with the times, you know. And uh, but uh, that was probably my best fun time was was with the Bomb Angels, and um, I think they came over twice up here, and we went back over there and uh, did our little angle and um i don't know how it kind of split up but it just kind of did you know everything goes in phases you know mm-hmm. <laughs> so i also want to mention uh too as uh your protege you brought up to to tavik the uh the what, what? Tadevic. was it Tadevic. Tadevic. Tadevic yes Tadevic yeah. the gamer i'm sorry about that that's okay that's all right mm-hmm. <laughs> sometimes people have trouble speaking her name but it's called Tadevic. She's very pretty, and she's an excellent wrestler. And uh, you can uh, you can check out about her over Facebook dot com slash Wow Tatevic, and we'll have the link right on the website, so you can just click on it. It'll take you right there. And uh, you know, I, I've seen on Facebook a lot of people were talking about her match with uh, with uh, Jungle Girl. And uh, do you think um, we'll see more of those two together? Oh, I hope so, because I w- and I went to that they uh, they had. It was a very exciting match because at one time everybody was wondering if Wendy Richter and I would be back in the ring and have a like a rematch. But mm-hmm. um, since then, uh, when them two had their match, it was just the same type deal. You know, everyone's asking for a rematch of Jungle Girl and Tardik, and they're both great athletes and they they, they work and train so hard. And um, I'm real excited because the next time they do have a match I'm hoping soon you know I think it's being talked about um I hope soon I'm going to be there because I support them and especially part of it, my protege you know mm-hmm. I've um I've worked um with her for like a year and two months she's she's traveled some she's done a, a, a few radio appearances and she she tries to do the best she can she's a she's a great athlete she's in the code of con- uh Yukoda Khan kickboxer and uh, Argentino tango dancer, a stunt choreographer, and a picture fighter. And uh, she's a legit wrestler, and that's what I like. She trains day and night as hard as she can, and she makes me work out too. <laughs> so, But she comes and visits sometimes, and we get in the gym to work out, and I try to get her around to different uh, places you know, to get some practice, and she never complains. And she's a hard worker, and I, 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 I know she's going to be a big mark in the wrestling world, and mm-hmm. I'm, I'm excited about it. She's that, a very good girl. Does that make you proud? You know, someone uh, someone you helped uh, get in the business, someone you trained, you've been with for a year, and you see him uh, in the ring and having matches that people are talking about? Yes, it does. Uh, I've, I've, I've had several that, um, that I've uh, trained in the, in the business, and um but she's been like the most exciting so far. I, I trained a young lady um, um, a few years ago, Amber O'Neill, and um, mm-hmm. she was. I I lost touch with her after a while, but uh, she's been on her own. But Tarvik and I have been uh, on the road together, and and I'm, I'm hoping that it'll it'll come off good for her because that's all she talks about and worries about is wrestling, and and um, I want to do the best to see that she. Gets to the highest point that she can. Uh, anybody that any woman that's wanting to um, uh, learn as much as they can, I have no problem helping. Um, not at all. A lot of um, these women today, like they'll get on my um, my Facebook and ask me, "Will you please watch my my match and and let me know what I could have done better?" So that makes me feel good. They they trust me and they're letting them know and uh, and tell them what um, what could uh, be. Uh, better in a match or you know they they um 
I have a lot of them do that, and I really want to, like, teach soon and have a place where I can teach uh, women's wrestling mm-hmm. and guys, too, you know, if it's possible. But um, that's what I'm aiming for now is just teaching, and um, I'm a technical style wrestler, and, and um, I'm excited about it. I, don't know, I got a really exciting year coming up this year. Mm-hmm. Now, as we mentioned, we'll have uh, Todd Vick on the show uh, coming up in February after you get back from uh, from Atlanta. So uh, that'll be very interesting for everybody. You can uh, find out uh, what she's been doing and what it was like training uh, training with you and uh, her plans for the future. Yeah, so I'm I'm excited about it too. I'm um, I'm hoping that she's got some. Um, she has some uh, dates coming up. I don't know exactly. Um, her her booker. Um, Steve Stasiak, they travel and get around, and um, so and um, and I'm I got several dates coming up. Um, one in New Jersey on 28th for Pro Wrestling Syndicate, and um, um, well, I, I September 28th when I had a match with Cindy Siaki. That mm-hmm. was like probably the first um actual um active match in the ring. And I had a really great match with her, and she was uh, trained by a, a lady wrestler in Japan that's very well known as a. Man. She was one of the girls in our group that was in Japan um, when I was back in the 80s. So she was very fun to, to work with, and I, um, I think it'll be coming up for uh, Gary Damon on ASW in Madison, West Virginia, April 12th. Mm-hmm. So I'm hoping that probably can be on that one too. So. Yeah, I'm oh, we'll good see. friends with uh, Gary. Uh, I know him through uh, through the Fan Fest, NWA Legends Fan Fest. So uh, he's a, he's a very nice guy and a great wrestling promoter. Yeah, he is. He's. I'm um, I'm excited about having um, to be on his event. You uh-huh. know, I've been working lately, but now I've just started working out, and I'm wanting to do some events now, and um, I'm I'm excited about my year coming up. Yeah trying to grab anything I can grab. <laughs> I was, so I'm, I'm ready to get in the ring and just, you know, face it. Some like to referee some matches, too. So just so I can referee girls' matches, you know, just to help them out in the ring. Mm-hmm. So, just, um, uh, um, I was I at the... Uh, yeah, I was, just, I was at the Fan Fest this year in Charlotte, and um, I remember during the seminar, uh, one of the girls... Uh, Got had her head split open, and they had to rush her into the into the bathroom. Uh, were you there for that when that happened? Yes, uh, I was. I was there at the in the room. That was um, actually part of it. She was the only one uh, training a woman training mm-hmm. with about twelve big guys, and um, she went out of the ring when she came up. She had, her head had been split open, but she didn't complain about it or anything like that. She she took it as a real trooper and. And they had to throw her head up, but she didn't complain or nothing. It did happen. Things like that do happen. The sport is very, very, um, very rough. You know, it's not easy. Mm-hmm. But it was actually part of it could happen too. Okay. She's the only woman there that um, that trained on that um, at that um, uh, seminar. Mm-hmm. So we have a few <laughs> questions here from the fans. Um, well, I'm going to save some of them because uh, I would like to have you back on sometime and we can uh, talk to you for a longer period of time. But here's one I did want to ask. It was from a change man from Ireland, and he wanted to know, uh, why did they change your name in WCW to Patty Stonegrinder? <laughs> I believe that was uh, part of that company's idea to put, like, a they wanted me to do, like, a biker type thing. and um, And they just changed it for that particular time. And uh, for TV, and uh, I just did it one time. I didn't like it, and I just didn't uh, pursue it no more. Um, but they were just trying to tra- change something for something different that doesn't work when I'm done with my car for such a long time. Yeah, you know? right. and, uh, <laughs> It was just something different, I guess. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> it really wasn't me, but <laughs> but it was it was kind of fun though. Yeah. But I think it was um I. I I believe it was Eric Bischoff's idea. I'm not really sure at the mm-hmm. time, but I just know what they told me they'd like me to do, so I, I did it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> um, also, uh, Vic wants to know, a lot of people had mentioned this, uh, uh, your hate, your hatred for Vince Russo, and uh, where did that stem from? I'm sorry, I'm, I didn't hear you. Uh, uh, Vic wants to know, your hatred for Vince Russo, where did that, uh, where did that start? 
how it started when he wanted me to um, get in uh, do mud wrestling. And I come to um, the event, I think it was Denver, Colorado, to to uh, wrestle uh, a lady named uh, Brandy Alexander. And they just changed it on me. He changed it on me and wanted me to get in the uh, and do mud wrestling on the on the show. And uh, I was like, you got to be out of your mind. You know, I'm not going to do nothing like that. But, um, but <laughs> now that I think about it, you know, I, I would do anything, you know, if I can, like, w- let him get in the mud with me and uh, maybe in a cage and then I'll wrestle him, you know, see what uh-huh. it feels like. And I, I don't, <laughs> I love to do that, <laughs> you know, get in the match, you know, in a mud wrestling match with him, you know, <laughs> in a cage. <laughs> so, but, uh, uh, that was an awful long time ago, and I, I just didn't care for that at all. That's that's not what I'm about, you know. It really upset me pretty bad. It wasn't a very good scene, <laughs> mm-hmm. but that was a long time ago, though. Yeah. Um, I really don't think that he um, knew what he was doing. It's, um, I really don't. <laughs> but I think anyway, many people agree with you. Uh, probably so. <laughs> yes. it, it, it didn't do a lot for a lot of the. The young um, talent getting in the business, you know, it, uh, it was it wasn't good for them at all. I don't think it was they were treated right, and and uh, he just kind of messed it up. I think you know with the cartoonish type thing. Uh, it, I think it messed up for a lot of the guys that are really trying to make it in the business and work so hard, you know, to to pay, you know, for pro wrestling, you know, and uh, so I just didn't care the way he pursued his um characters of of whatever cartoonish things he did. They really made me mad when he, he said it to me. Uh, I was really upset. I think I really went off on him, but that was an awful long time ago. <laughs> yeah. This uh let everyone know too if uh you would like to uh to book Leilani Kai or uh, other people, you can go to uh, facebook.com slash now and uh, talk to Steve Stasiak. So I want to thank you for coming on tonight. I know we don't have a lot of time here, but uh, we'd love to have you back sometime and talk about some uh, when you have some more matches coming up or you have some more events coming up. And uh be good times. Oh, yeah, yeah, anytime. That'd be great. Thank you for having me on uh, your show. It's been great, you know. Well, thank, you to you. thank you very much, and I'll tell your listeners. Thank you. Yep. This is Amazing Kong, and you are listening to In Your Head. Yeah.